All right, we back at it. Homegrown Radio, Chuck Dizzle, DJ Head, West and Coast. Bill with us right now. The North North, man. Vince Staples. Why you always say that that tone of voice? What? The West Coast. Like West I just want I just <laughs> never I, he said the tone. I just want people to know what it is off top. Like it's just like if you say cuss. I say West Coast. Nah, you don't say West Coast. You say West Coast. Like, okay. West Coast. Like or something, you know what I'm saying? Get yeah. the fuck out of here. Hey, it gets serious. Like, I, <laughs> the he, West Coast He let serious. you know it's serious. The, the West Coast is serious. Pushing the line real quick, man. Uh, Vince, man, you you back at it, man. You, you're one of those interesting dudes, man. You, you're you back with the music. Uh, you, you you stay active on social media. Uh, but but I want to talk about the, the the song that you got out right now, the video. We'll, we'll get the, the the business shit out the way, man. What brings you back this go around, man? Four or five years later. Hey, look, bro. You know, it's funny. I'll be having a conversation with head. Like, you know, I, music is for me. It's like it, it's so many things. You feel me? Like, I didn't grow up wanting to make music. I was just, like trying stuff, just trying to do different things and right. seeing what I can get away with. Yeah. And it's just one of those times. You feel me? Like just trying to see what I can get away with. Just trying to approach it i don't want to do the same thing twice you feel me so just trying to approach things in a new way like we got some stuff in the tuck here and there that we working on so just you know throwing stuff at the wall seeing what stick man it's simple with me so even but but with, with this right here like is it is it an attempt to like just challenge yourself or is it just like man fuck let me just see what i can get away with yeah i mean it's always an attempt to challenge yourself in a sense because like, like we, can, we can get fact d real quick because y'all the homies right <laughs> so like what's music to you <laughs> it can be entertainment. It can be. It can be. Depends on on on. You already know where I'm to. going. Mm-hmm. Depends so, on who I'm listening to. It depends on what's going on. So it's an experience, right? Got you. Now this is my question, right? Do people sell experiences? Yes. Music is is probably the most the most popular experience mm-hmm. that's free, True. right? So we got to put a tag hole to it because mm-hmm. they're not gonna notice. They're not gonna be like, hey, you know, we tricked y'all out of selling y'all music, right? They never gonna say that. So it's like, oh man, he sold a hundred and fifty thousand albums first week. That's great. No, he didn't. He did not do that. He streamed millions, probably billions, if you really get to the big dogs, right, but you're not gonna give them that number that's that big. You feel me? Because you gotta think about the ego of the arts and things like that. They never gonna tell Drake, Oh man, you got this many billion streams in four days. They're gonna say, Oh, you sold five hundred thousand. <laughs> you you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So my thing is it's always a challenge because you fighting through that. To kind of get some sort of creativity, like, you know, I be I be arguing all time, like my production, you know, he uh, he he is a man. I'm like, bro, look, <laughs> he be saying like, you know, oh, this this sounds these sounds cool, these sounds cool, but they underproduced. I'm like, nah, that's what it is because you know when you had BB King, all you do is go, do 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 do. That wasn't underproduced. Yeah. Right. So how's dun, how dun, dun, yeah. you get you get what I'm saying? It's all about what you're trying to create. So for me, every song. Is a different like experience different embodiment, but like even like a single. What's a single? We ain't putting a CD with one song and the remix and instrumental. That's not happening no more. Right, it's different. So with a single, it's like it's it's context. You're giving context to a project that's about to come out. So the best song might not be would give you the context. Gotcha. You feel me? The 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 radio record might not necessarily be, be, one, be right. give you the context. So with this, I just I just wanted to, it fit the video. Gotcha. It fit the pace in the video. I wanted to make the video. So what experience are you giving us this go around? What what's what's happening? Whether it be in your life or for you to step back up and say, okay, I, I'm ready for people to receive what I got going on. I mean, yeah, man. It's just like you know, I mean, like I said, it's been a long time, but I feel like a lot of it was just conversations I was having with the homies mm-hmm. and just really like. Oh man, we should we should put this on. You should put this in a song. I'll be like, man, I talk about this all the time, but <laughs> you don't necessarily do it all the time if you don't do it in the proper context. You get what I'm saying? We talking about the video and the single being context, right? It's like something I'm learning a lot about now because I'm learning as I'm going. I didn't know nothing about music until I started making it. Yeah. You feel me? And I was, I was like, oh, there, where's the bag? Oh, oh here, grab me. Yeah. You feel me? So yeah. it's like now I'm sitting back and I'm thinking about what I want and how I'm feeling. It's like even tempos, like experiences, right? I spent a gang of time in the car. I don't live in LA. I gotta come out here for work. <laughs> spent a gang of time in the car. I spent a gang of time right around. I spent a gang of time doing certain things. I'm 27. I'm not 19. I'm not 18. I'm not 17. Like my little homie told me, you know, she made music. Shout out Vonnie. Vonnie was like, yeah, like, oh yeah, I, yeah, I like this. I can clean my house to this. <laughs> you feel me? So you, you got different experiences. You get older, you feel me? And you think about where you are in life. And I feel like at this point in time, it's a good kind of reintroduction and re, uh, reintroduction yeah. to like kind of, you know, state of mind and like just trying to get. No simple production. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to lie. When I was watching the video, I was looking at it, right? And I was like, because I ain't seen the video, but mm-hmm. I remember we talked about some records. Um, and then when I saw, like, the Get Out shit mm-hmm. or whatever, that I don't know what that is. At, at first, because at first, you know how they sell the uh, the COVID masks mm-hmm. with the face on it? I thought it was that at first. Uh-huh. But it wasn't, because mm-hmm. I, was, I was watching them looking like, oh, no, that's like, that's like, 
uh, graphics. Mm-hmm. Like that's done intentionally, right? What the fuck is that about? Like, because I didn't get it. Juneteenth. I okay. So look, peep game, right? When you when, when you know, hold on. You know, I'm like one of the best rappers ever, right? Listen, bro. No, no, no. I, I'm saying like, if you want to talk about how, look, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about camera. So like look. ever though, it's not even close. <laughs> It's, no, it's really not close. Okay, look, really let me get close. this out, though. Soldier Boy shit right now. <laughs> no, I'm not saying I'm the best. I'm saying I'm one of the best. One ever. of the best. No, I get it. So I, the reason why I was asking is because it wasn't just black people. Mm-hmm. It was like other people. So I was like, okay, it kind of didn't, I didn't get the Juneteenth thing from it because it wasn't just, it wasn't like, it was like multiple people in the video. Paul Money just died, right? You're right. Remember what he used to say? No. Oh, he's like, everybody want to be a nigga, and everybody don't want to be a nigga. Correct. Right? It's your own team. So. You want a shirt? Yeah. I got a shirt for you. I, I, I thank you. I appreciate you. that. So why you say, so real quick, I, we not finished blow past what you just said. You said one of the greatest ever. Yeah. Why do you specifically feel that way? Because you're supposed to. That's it? That's that's, yeah. that's the easy excuse, too, when people say No, I'm, de- I'm dead serious, though. He's serious, though. I'm dead serious. <laughs> So. Because I be like I be I be writing version like four minutes in. So it's so it's a is and, it a speed thing? No, no, no. You got you got you got to get to the bars, bro. Like like you feel me? Like I you know I hate people, bro. You know I be mad like. <laughs> so like 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 that's oh that's crazy, right? You got people in there like oh that's crazy, right? What, what are we? But that's at? like the eighth bar, like that's like the eighth bar in like Can bars. Okay, okay. This bar this bar says no no no. 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 Why that make people ha- like he liked that? That was like just the end of verse, right? But I feel it. That is tight. What are we looking at? I don't see what okay. y'all talking about. It's, is it something that you can share? Can, yeah. Okay. It says Lil Wayne. Don't say his name. I don't want him to feel like I'm bullying him. It says Not Lil Wayne. Wayne. I mean a dude. Okay, um, oh, no, no. It says Lil Wayne Carter. Lil Wayne Carter is what I call my 38. Mm-hmm. Ben Staples. Right? And then it shows a Google page. And this is Lil Wayne age, 38 years old. Like, that's so easy. And why does that make you happy? <laughs> <laughs> so somebody reached out to you and told you like damn I caught that bar this is- and I'm like did you how you miss everything else I had a verse on a Rush to Find I song right mm-hmm. and <clears throat> a DJ the homie you know what I mean? he's like he's like yeah man that verse crazy and I'm like I know but it's like every bar like every bar pay attention to it do you get offended when people don't catch on to certain things no I just I'm, I just, I'm talking to him yeah. I'm not finna she's like regular I, mean, I talk to this nigga too much yeah. I'm just gonna be here to talk to him I'll talk to him in real life ever bro <laughs> Like, bro, like, this is my thing. We listen to that Roy song, right? And yeah. I'm on the song with my homies, like, you know how Geechee be, like, every bar? But see, here's It the really thing. be every bar. Royce though. is a real, like, Royce, I understand what you're saying. Bro. But listen. Yankee fitted barrel kicking like I'm Snoop from Manhattan. North. Yeah. In the, you know what Snoop did in that, and when he went to Manhattan? Yeah. yeah. Come on, bro. I'm with you. Look, them double, the double barrel need a couple beams. That's how I'm tripping. No, that's how I'm living. I ain't tripping, baby, up my streams. That's how I'm swimming. Hear the hissing from the serpentine. That's a snake. They trying to rattle my cage. Like, what? That's, bro, I wrote that verse eating the In-N-Out burger. <laughs> I raise a hell, levade the cells, and won some battles with grace. Die and fall from his grace. Banana clips and crackers wish that we evolved from the apes. Who done seen their homies bleed to death? The ambulance was running late. The homies had to beat his chest. The pages in my jungle book is crazy, baby. Come and look. Bandana Baloo. Big drums and a stick, band cap with the crew, made music and fuse before I seen the studio. Glock held the stock ten shots like a new Malone. You ain't thugging to your mama, know you doing wrong. He was a soldier, can't come home, she kissed him through the phone. But y'all ain't never do what you rapping. Yankee fit a barrel kicking like a stoop from Manhattan North. And I'm really from the hood, and I got put on when I was a teenager, <laughs> not when I was 35, before I had a rap video. It's just so much. I, I have fun, bro. But the, here's the thing. Okay, but when you say, I agree with you. Ever. Okay. Because niggas be lying. Niggas, niggas be saying, lying. But you agree with what? You want to play? Let's play who got put on. Well, niggas talking all this tough gangster shit and all these songs. I don't know who got put on. You do. <laughs> the fuck is you lying <laughs> to so, these people so, for? So are you, are you, I don't. Are you basing that off of <laughs> you saying, okay, not only are the bars there, you have real life experiences. You can back up what you're talking about, right? It, so are you, is, is this what you categorize as the best ever? Well, I'm not the best ever. The best ever is Jay-Z, and okay. that's because he got all that money, and I like his songs, personally. But I just like to fuck with him. Yeah. So look. Because he, cause he be easily impressed a lot. Gotcha. And I, <laughs> and I, and I, and I, and I, be, I be telling these niggas, bro, like, bro, if we, like, really going to go with some bars, like, 
got you. Cause he don't never put me on his his list. He be letting niggas say, uh, I'm at the function. And he be like, that's crazy. <laughs> and I be like, hey. <laughs> I be like, hey, bro. Like, that's not man. true. That's that's actually not true. I know you be, you be shitting on niggas. I know. So, <laughs> I actually do give you your props and I give you your respect because I feel mm-hmm. like a lot of times, I'm gonna be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I feel like you are one of the few people who kind of do represent us the right way out here especially when it comes to lyricism because it ain't that many and i noticed that a lot of them east coast dudes will be having a bias when they put out their lists and they do their little categories if and- i hear one more nigga rap about crack in 2021 <laughs> Yeah. Well, see, oh, where are the oh, crackheads? Oh, well, that's different. I, I can't speak for other regions. Where are the crackheads? Right. You might. It might be crackheads in in other places. And if it feels really that booming. Why are we rapping? <laughs> Maybe they washing their money. Huh. <laughs> you got a point. <laughs> Score. Uh-huh. <laughs> Score one for DJ Head. God damn it. No, nah, I'm not. But to be honest, though, bro, you know, I don't, I don't be subscribing to all that shit, bro. I just be fucking around. So look, you say, you said that, you said that you're one of the greatest ever. Now, I, I'm for show top five thousand. Man, shut up. No, up. real shit, not even close. Yes. Top, of all, <laughs> he said not of, even close. You're right. Top, of all time, I'm for sure top five thousand. What about in Long Beach? Are you serious? Like ever. Okay. In all Long Beach, like I'm probably like. You talking about like rapping? Yeah. Uh, I'm like one through three. Okay. I'm gonna be fair. Cause well, I he no, said I'm gonna be fair. I ain't got no hits or no classics, so like. That's that's what's missing. And I really like Snoop. Me too. Motherfuckers be saying Snoop can't rap, but like I, I slap the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's Facts. Town, it's like sure. no, I'm like five. I'm Number fair. five. I will be forgetting niggas to be from Long Beach. Okay. You got Snoop. You got Tracy. You got Domino. It's not order neither. Yeah. You got G Dub. Um That was four right there, right? Well, counting him or no? Yeah. I'm trying to think of who else from the city. Like, I'm not forgetting Goldie. I just I fuck with Goldie though. Um Yeah, I I, I can I can sneak in a five in like two, three years. Okay. That's all, I, all, all I need is I already got a go. I got a go and I got a platinum, by the way. And that's the I don't be telling people, but I for sure got a platinum and I didn't pay for it. But um, <laughs> but yeah, like no, you know, sometimes you have to pay for those. Like, look, bro, let's be honest, you got to pay for those. Sometimes I'm proud I didn't have to pay for mine. Bro, I don't know nothing about none of that. What, what's, but, the, what's the end goal for Vince Staples? Oh, uh, I wanna I wanna live in Palos Verde. <laughs> I, yeah, I wanna I wanna, I wanna live in I wanna live in Palos Verde. Um, <laughs> Yo, I. I don't want to be. I don't want to be on child support, ever. That's a good goal. That's a great I goal. I don't want to be on. Do you, you, you want to have kids at one point? No. You. I want to. I want to go back a little bit. You was on Revenge of the Dreamers three. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you get the invite or how did that happen? Did you? You got one of the invites to come. Go, the gold yeah. Ticket. You got one of the golden tickets. The, I don't want to go neither. You didn't want to go. There's too many people there, bro. I don't want to be around all them niggas. This is this before the pandemic. Too. I don't know them niggas. Hey, but you're you're. Uh, is it because you're you're an introverted person or you just don't fuck? With I don't arts? know them niggas. Oh, got you. Take I don't. Me. I'm not talking about artists. I don't know no niggas. Like we talking basic right. humanity. I don't know them people. I know G. All right, send me something. Mm-hmm. But I, I knew I knew Earth Gang like loosely. I don't really know nobody there. And I don't see who was posting these flyers. I'm like, don't know this nigga, don't know that nigga. And then I gotta go to Atlanta. Yeah, that's a long flight, bro. <laughs> that's a long. But Jid, that's my dog, so he made me go. I was gonna say that was a deciding factor. Nigga called me, bro. He called me. Like, Hit you up. You like everybody know, especially if you're in the pen. You call me enough, I'm gonna just do it to get you to leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> like so, the little homie calling me for a phone like every other day right now. Man, they only twenty five hundred. <laughs> Come on, I'm like I'm eventually do it, but I keep telling him no. But yeah, don't keep calling till I do it. So, so you he called you, and you end up going down there for sure. Yeah, okay. So you was you was in and out though. You was like I was there for like an hour and a half. Are you serious? Well, no, like two three hours. I'm not gonna be here. like two three hours. Okay, so you got in, did what you had to do, and you back to the house. Yeah, I want to go see my mama. That's what's up. I always wondered that because I, I seemed like niggas was down there forever, like hanging out. I was like, there for one day, rapping. Was it Chris like Bosch week? is in. It Chris Bosch is in there making beats. Wait, what? On what? On the NPC. Get the fuck Sitting out. Sitting next here. to Rick Ross. You lying? Chris Bosch was I making know. beats at, at the at the Reven- at the at the Dreamville camp. You got the fo- you got a photo? I don't believe this at all. Bro, is why, this video why? out? Why, how I've never seen this video footage. I mean, we just, of Chris Bosch making beats. We not paying. 
And I, I saw the documentary. I don't remember seeing him in there. Facts. Oh, he calling somebody. <laughs> Who are you calling? Put it next to the mic. <laughs> Probably not going to ask you to do drugs. Bro, it's two. Never mind. He do Zaza. <laughs> I don't even know who we don't know who he's calling. We we don't know what's going on. He gonna answer though. He gonna call me back eventually. We gonna talk about this. I don't want to put his number on the thing because he don't. He ain't got his voice voicemail set up. So you said okay. So did anybody rap on Chris Bosh's beats? I don't know. I just know he was in a room with Rigos by himself. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear the beat? Was the beat fire? No, nah, I just I just heard Chris Bosh in there making beats with Rick Ross. Now I said that's crazy. <laughs> that, that, that didn't make you want to go in there and hear what he was working on. I'm not walking in in the room with Chris, Chris Bosh and Rick Ross. That's disrespectful. <laughs> yes, yes. Them is two legends. I ain't walking in the room with no legends. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. This is completely random. Up this this conversation is. But we don't have nothing to talk about. The no. song is on the internet. Go listen to the song. Now, what was you finna no, say? Exactly. No, no, no. This is this because this has to do because you have asthma, right? Oh uh, what? I, I got the blower asthma. on me right now. You, you, Hold you, on. He said the blower. <laughs> Come on, bro. You know I got the blower, bro. Fully. I got 195 shots in this one. For <laughs> Extendo. I beat her all so That was the one I had. So here's the trip part about. It. I, I grew up having asthma. How bad did you have it? Oh yeah, I'm. I, I didn't have asthma bad till I was a little bit older. I lived by a power plant, so like my shit, you know, digest. So I, I got had asthma attack when I was like seventh grade, and ever since then it's been a wrap. So I grew up having asthma as well. My shit went away ten years ago. You run? It went away. Yeah. I mean, I don't not all. I mean, I, I work out and I do I do activities and shit, but it just went away. I don't know what, I, and it's been blowing. It's been blowing my mind. Like I don't know, and I'm hoping this shit don't come back. I think a lot of it's diet, bro. Think so? I don't necessarily eat healthy though. Well, but he be on the Carl's Jr. You, you you eat a lot of dairy? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Enough enough of it. Like, because I, I know a lot of asthma mucus, and yeah. the dairy make the mucus. That's what the doctor told me. They be lying. You never know. Nah, that's real. Yeah, but the dairy make the mucus, because I know if I brought in the mask, I was fucked up. Oh, when you put the mask on? Bro, I was fucked up. Damn. So, so you th- haven't seen an improvement over the years? Like, Oh, it's way better, bro. Way better than, than it was. I almost died at a Coachella. Get out of here. Why? Put me on the gurney and all that. For real? After you had to do you have an asthma attack or was mm-hmm. it damn on, was you performing or you no, I was just kicking it. Oh yeah, that's that's bad. But I didn't want to be there because I was like, it's too dusty. Then it was like a little dust storm. I'm a, I, I they put me on I, they used to I used to have the oxygen machine on the side of the stage and then I would pretend we was doing like not pretend, but we would have set like little breaks in the show. About somebody in the hood trying you because they know you can't run like a full fade. What like. I got what? <laughs> what? <laughs> we out of here, bro. I'm telling you, I only got one loss and it's real bad. <laughs> Other than that, what? I got a gang of dubs and a one tie and Have a you one ever loss. Had to pull your, your pump out while you were fighting? Oh nah, no no no. I dope fiend though. Oh. I'm a dope fiender. <laughs> I'm a dope fiender. <laughs> I'm a, I'm I'm a dope fiender. I'm I'm a, I'm a dope fiender, and you know I took them classes at the boys and girls club, so I know some shit. <laughs> I know some shit. If I if if I start losing, you going in the Kamora real quick. Yeah, uh, yeah, go real CM yeah. Punk on a nigga real yeah, quick. Yeah, and I and I don't I don't got no shame in the county and all that like in the tanks. For real, bro, you got to be man. You got to put in the words. Bro, playing. you tripping? Uh, wow. Listen, all right. You ain't never. You, you, come on, bro. I don't be catching. I know. I know like where that. you grew up. You know niggas that know karate, bro. Yes, I do. Like. Facts. Was they was they nice people? <laughs> you know the karate. Don't act like you don't know the karate niggas. <laughs> shout out my homie Karate Rob from the mob, yeah. and, shout, and shout out Lil Karate Rob from the mob, aka Ocho. I love you, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro. Anyway, listen. This this he's crazy, right? Karate Rob from the mob got bangers too. Slaps. All them bros, a gang of niggas from the mob. They got bangers. Oh man, and hey, he's um, he's stupid. This I want to ask you about this 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 uh, because me and you we ain't even talked about this when I was talking to you before, but you said now you said everything we owe Ray J for, okay? Shout out to homie. I'm not saying you wrong, because you had a what? Like you what? had a valid he had a valid explanation. Okay. He the first one to show us his homies. That's a fact, and he didn't hide his homies. That's not true. What do you mean? Who? What you mean, show us the homies? So, easy, real calm to CDGs, right? Okay. Did you know where they was from? No. All right, cool. DJ Quick Save and Sound video, it had a concept, right? It was like, oh, you, it was probably some dudes from Treetop, but it wasn't like, we from Treetop. When Ray J performed Synergy on that stage, bro, <laughs> and everybody was on that stage, When did where did you see that before? Even Snoop, Snoop, you got some homies sprinkled in, you don't know who's who, nobody telling you where they from. 
Bro, Bro, they was from Long Beach. He said, nah, no, no DJ different. DJ Quick did perform. He what performed, you mean? He performed, um, was it the Source Awards? And that's the one I thought did it, but yeah. I, I was just trying to prove my point. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. He did the Source Awards. That's why I stopped the safe and sound. But <laughs> I rock with Ray J, bro. It's not how many. So, but you said that he's responsible for, for pop culture. Bro, I just be talking. I said that to a white man. Listen. You got to gas the brothers. No, you don't. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta ask you the gotta, brothers. It's these kids that be listening to you. I oh, saw a whole. They, they if you listen to me, you for. stupid. Like, I saw a whole think piece on your on that on that theory. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Because they, come on, bro. You know what's going on. But <laughs> you know, you know the, the, with social media, obviously, people gonna take your words as truth. That's their problem. <laughs> you know how much you know how much stuff I just be saying. Yes. Yeah, we got a whole Twitter feed, right? I got a whole Twitter feed. Nah, and shit. I be speaking real shit. No. Hold on. No. Actually, no a lot of, uh, Tell I have, me, I give me, show seen, me a miss. Hold on. I'm, about to, I'm looking right now. I'm, I'm going to just go down. Just scroll see. down far because yeah, yeah. you're not going to find one. No, I've been on the street. They really put Jesus on death row. I fuck with that They one. did. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Jesus the first Tuki, if we being honest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what you mean? He didn't do it. They persecuted him and they made a book. <laughs> So, so here's the thing. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. On, I, Cause I got a couple. Go ahead. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh shit. Okay. Um. Hold on. Damn, I saw one. Oh, damn it, damn, damn it. That was uh -huh. One I want to pull out. Now this, this, this is this. I mean, it's more of this true. If Clint Eastwood die, don't die before Sydney Port Forty Eight, I'm gonna be hot. They around the same age. I got one for you. How would you feel if that happened? <laughs> Oh man, I don't know how old they were. I don't know. I, I don't know how something. old they're both. Ninety something. I know Clint look old as hell. And that's what I'm saying. Clint, we ain't seen Sidney Poitier in a minute. He could have been in that one movie. Oh, man, ain't, ain't he? Hey, Clint Eastwood, ninety one. Batman only fight dope fiends. Facts. That's not a fact. Who did he fight that wasn't a dope fiend? What you mean that Come wasn't on, a... you? You. This is you right here. Go Batman. Sidney Poitier, ninety four. Who didn't he fight that wasn't a dope fiend? The Riddler. Dope. No, the Riddler wasn't on dope. <laughs> He's a dope fiend. Get the fuck. That's a dope fiend line. <laughs> he had on a green suit. It was Jim Carrey. Dope fiend. <laughs> Two Face wasn't a dope fiend. For sure was a dope fiend. He fell in the acid, bro. That's called MDMA. <laughs> dope fiend. Keep going. Raja Gould. Raja Gould for sure dope fiend. How you figure? Because he was a white man who said his name was Raja Gould. That's <laughs> dope fiend. <behavior. laughs> and I wasn't even really no faith. That was his big homie. He just, he just went against the grain. That's not really like that's not a, that was a squabble. He had a really so that was like a hood fade. That was that was a in turn. That was in house. That was in house. Yeah, All right, in house. Yeah, and listen, kids, don't listen to nothing this man says. You can't name me one person that he fought that wasn't a dope fiend, but it's cool. I just named three. No, you didn't. Yes, you, you know, just... you know, really was a dope fiend. You know it. We know he was. He was writing that man poems, doing dances and shit. Penguin, dope fiend. Joker, super dope fiend. Joker was a dope fiend. Exactly. Psych meds. S N Y. Special needs yard. Raja Ghoul wasn't a dope fiend. Mm. Exactly. So I got named that one. That wasn't really no faith, though. That's who taught Batman how to be Batman. I, I named you one, though. No, he not really. That was, that's before Batman, or that's how he became Batman. <laughs> <laughs> he, he laughed because he don't know nothing about I don't know nothing about none of the shit y'all talking about. about Batman. That, right. I only know because I've seen the three movies. But that's before he became Batman. That's Batman Begins. That's the fact. But I'm just telling you. He wasn't Batman The League yet. of Shadows is, were not dope fiends. But this is what I'm saying, boom. It's like, if you like, ah, oh, man, I'm not finna do this. I'm finna go do my own thing and be Batman. Technically, whatever happened before that, you was not Batman. Your name was not on the map. But but that's not your point. Your point was... He, he only was... fights dope fiends. Catwoman was a dope fiend? Absolutely. She was crazy. Psych meds. She was breaking in his house and She's shit. A, she was a woman. Psych meds. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's women dope fiends. What? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying she was a, so now a women, regular woman. Now women can't be dope fiends? I, I didn't say that. Nah, that's crazy. Now, now you limiting. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> now you limiting you women. You marginalizing. Shut the fuck up. We, I don't, we, we were having a debate about cancel culture, and you said... No, no. We were talking I'm canceled. About, no, no. We're talking about being blackballed. Yeah. Right? And, and Head said there's no way that anybody can be blackballed because there's, there's, there's too many opportunities as of right now for people to get out the internet. and the message. Exactly. The internet. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, it's possible. I mean, I don't know. People be snitching and coming home, so kicking it. It's true. Niggas can snitch and get a DP. Like, so I'm, 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 guess, I'm, I'm guessing you can. <laughs> it's possible. All right, they should have never gave you niggas Airbnb. Facts.
Everybody hood there at the Airbnb now. <laughs> I don't know nobody that had a hood there at Airbnb. Yes, you do. Okay. Yes, you, okay. yes, you do. I didn't. I was unaware of their of their hood day being held. At so the- when when they in that house that got the wood floors and they showing the back of the shirt with all the stuff whacked out, you think somebody lit there? <laughs> no, because it start outside, but then later during the day, everybody at the Airbnb. These is facts, bro. Go through the comments when you post this. Everybody hood day. Everybody tell them if you went to the Airbnb for your hood the day. The dudes that I know was still having hood days at the park, and they were still having hood days in their hood. What I'm saying is at night, they going to the Airbnb. Trust me. Or you think they're going home? And if they're, if they're not going to the Airbnb, they're they going, going to they have an after party. At the Airbnb, or they get in the peer space. <laughs> These apps, bro. They get in peer spaces. Oh, man. The, the little homie taught me about peer space. Really? I didn't know what that was. Oh yeah, maybe we gonna get a peer space. Now we going I'm gonna throw the function for my seat. It's gonna be at a peer space. They don't tell. I'm gonna get a chef and all that. I'm like, what? And he was dead serious. Damn, it's gonna Sweet. be a movie. You should come. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just tell him no. Do you do you have any? You are you gonna do the? Uh, are you gonna do any no. more? T- no more TV. I thought you were gonna say TikTok. You had TikTok? Nah, nah, he not. He I was not. about to say what? The I'm fuck? old, bro. I ain't moving. My bones don't move like that. Yeah, man, I'm where I'm trying to get this Vince Staples show on Netflix right now. I'm cracking off. We're working on it. Boom. Mm-hmm. I want to go on American Ninja Gladiator. What's that thing American, called? American Ninja. American. I think you said it right. Mm-hmm. I need that. Um, no. <laughs> I need that. I need, I need the Steph Curry golfing show. I want to get on there. Um. Yeah, man. Why Why American uh, Ninja Ninja Warrior? I think I got it in me. I don't know. I think I fake got I it I saw in these me. little white kids on there today. Today. You saw that shit? Yeah. Bro, they was getting their money on yeah, there. They ain't got no squabble though. So like Bro, they it's not a fighting show. I mean, I don't worry about them little busters. <laughs> it's Juneteenth. We ain't talking about nothing that's not black. They don't exist to me. So American Ninja Warrior is not a black thing. That's, what is it? That's Asian. I mean, look, bro. Last time I checked, I'm scared of the Asians. I got canceled. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so I'm not speaking on them. You more. think you could really do like a uh like one of them type of shows and win though? I didn't say win. You just want to say win. You just want to be on it. I know I can Do get you know how to golf? Of course. So you just want to fuck with my sister, baby, daddy golf, and schoolboy Q golf. Them is two dudes I know that golf. Have you golf with them? Why you want to get on my sister, baby, daddy in in elementary school? (laughs) Why you want to get on Steph Curry's golf show if you don't golf? It's mini golf. If you don't golf, most niggas that mini golf don't golf. They mini golf. It's different. Yeah, it's different, bro. All right. So the Netflix show you want to get on American Ninja Warrior and Steph Curry show. Uh Why Steph Curry? That's who got the show. So it didn't matter who actually has the show. I rock with Steph Curry. You feel, I know. Yeah, I, I see you tweet Steph about Curry. Steph Curry. Yeah, I rock with Steph Curry, man. What I say about him? I don't remember what you said. You said I think you said free Steph Curry. Oh yeah, free Steph, man. You free him from what? This season it was bad, bro. What about so? Who's your team? I don't got no team. Bro. I support everybody black. I, that's a safe answer. <laughs> I'm serious though. I know you are. I'm serious because it's like I'm gonna be mad at you because you just got a hundred mil. Mm. That make me a weirdo. I'm not a weirdo. <laughs> I'm not a weirdo. Like, oh, oh, bro, he got 100 mil for shooting a basketball. Man, I hate that nigga. I want him to lose. I don't. I judge you by your shoes. And you don't like certain people's faces either. You hate on people's faces. Well, everybody do. No, that's not true. Yes, it is. I know true. somebody who don't hate on nothing about nobody. Her name is Roz. Oh, you're right. Roz is very well, That's what I'm saying. She's probably a good person, right? But what I'm saying is this. She done looked at somebody's face and like, oh, that's interesting. That's what people who oh, say. that's interesting. They say, oh, that's that's different. Well, that that that's the conversation we was having about ugly, ugly babies. babies, and yeah. she was like, I told her, I was like, bro, of course there's a such thing as ugly babies, and they, she was like, well, no. babies are ugly. That's what I'm saying. They look they look weird. Like, they, you know, I mean, I, I, this is what I'm saying. I'm not. This is what I'm saying. How's a baby? Uh, they not like. What is a baby supposed to look like? But but a baby, like I, like if you calling the baby, oh man, that's a beautiful baby. Like you on some freaky shit, and that's weird. <laughs> So it's like, yeah, it's weird. No, 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 no. People, people when somebody that, post a baby with and put the hard eyes and say, "Oh my God, I have baby fever." That's not weird to you. That's not weird because they, if they want to have kids, that's weird, bro. That's not. Weird. <laughs> that's weird. That's weird. When people, when people be dressing their kids like they got the PPP, and they be like, "My baby," and they be like, "My baby, fine." That's the weird. Gucci slide. Huh? No, that's, no, okay, now that's border. And you, that's, that that is different. It's oh uh, baby, baby, bro. But anybody, baby fever is nah, not, if you, not I'm not saying baby fever. I'm saying if you put the hard eyes by the picture, you know, you be on the gram, you yeah, be on the no, Twitter. I got a son, as in I get these pictures all the time, so I know. Some people, they be bro. loving his kid. Yeah, no, I, 
I get it. So, but it, but it is a fine like, line between the compliments and it's like, all right, you're doing too much. Doing like, too what much. if he bad? What if his room not clean? Like, you ever gassing him? Well, that's what that's what the parents take take over. That's a fact. But then, yeah, you're right. You're right. But um, no, go ahead, go ahead. No, I, I, I'm nigga. I'm just sitting here just enjoying this conversation because Vince, you were so fucking random, and I think that people enjoy those type of conversations and I feel like you I don't know if it, has this always been your personality throughout yeah, the years yeah I just don't talk I don't, talk, I don't know these niggas probably talking to people I don't know mm. I used to take the bus my mama said don't talk to people you don't know <laughs> if they take you I'm not getting you back that was her <laughs> that was she was so. how, how does she feel about everything that's happening for you oh she ain't tripping she at the house right now when so, I left she was uh she was eating some uh she was eating some crustaceans with the with the uh with the she had the little bread potatoes with the um with the corn and she was in a full Adidas tracksuit, navy. Do you? I promise you, she got like ten of them, navy, black, and gray. That's the only thing she wore. I I could see that. Yeah, <laughs> I could I could definitely see yeah, that. She's very deep. She's very um grassroots. So she likes yeah, to rooted in the community. Yeah, rooted. Yeah, activism. Activism. Yeah, activism. Community activism. Um, you now listen. Just tell me the truth, okay? You, I seen you give props to Soldier Boy before. I really like Soldier Boy music. You really enjoy Soldier Boy's music, all of it. I'm 27. That makes sense. Touche. Let me ask you a question. When you when you walked in the party, right? No, I do no, too. No, no, no. I this fuck is, with Soldier Boy. Look, when you walked in the party, and she got a donk was on. Movie. Imagine if somebody turned it off. Oh no, I'd be hot. That's all, that's all that matter. Right. Yeah. I was the one playing it, so. <laughs> Yep, that's all you need. If bro, if you if you couldn't turn nothing else on at that point in time, bro. It was that one in the Trina song. Mm -hmm. The uh uh I look forgot. back at it. Yeah, look back at it. It was oh, those two. Right, yeah, yeah. It was those two back to back. Got an ass so big like the sun. I'm yeah, that shit. It. But all every Soldier Boy song you like. Well, no, I don't like every song everybody done, but Soldier Boy got more than they be trying to people like to pick on people, bro. Facts. People like to pick on people. So it's like Soldier Boy might not have a perfect catalog, but Michael Jackson don't. So what's your point? Facts. You feel me? But like, uh, tear it up was hard. Zan with that lean part two, hard. He got he, he got good. Everybody has, bro. We make music. If if everybody knows who Soldier Boy is, he clearly can't be that bad. Right. So what? You know what I'm saying? Just no, I agree up. with you. I gave him his props when we had him on the show. Um, but also the verses. Who you got? Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy, exactly. Mm -hmm. Same oh, thing well. I said. Yeah. Oh, it's not close. Oh, I. I had I had a heated debate. We was finna squabble in the car. For real? About while not being able to hold up the soldier? It's not even about that. It's like, so I had the same conversation with, you know, and I love everybody's music, but like I had the same conversation with like people have people they like more, right? Like people say, like, oh man, when they be like clowning Ja Rule, like a oh, 50 watch, I feel like, like do y'all not know how many hits Ja Rule got? Facts. Like actual hits though. Like back to back to back to back to back to back. Like it's songs you forget about. Ja Rule got soundtrack hits from like Fast and the Furious One. Facts. I'm like, come on. He got two down ass bitches. What you mean? He got a song called Down Ass Bitch. Then he got the other song that's about the down ass bitch, but it's not called Down Ass Bitch. And they both hits. Who else got that, bro? That's some Gucci man shit. They have like <laughs> that's like some egos, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree with you. People people hate on Ja, but it's just when people overhype. Like when people overhype other people that uh, you automatically come off like you hating because you like, no, tone that shit down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I agree with you, because I saw you tweet about uh, you want the Ja Rule versus? I love Ja Rule, bro. Man, don't, don't nobody want to do that with him, bro. Why ain't you ain't never did no music with him? For what? Because <laughs> you, you just said you love Ja Rule's music. So I love, I love Mary Mary, nigga. You don't want to hear that? I don't want to hear you. Well, no, Mary, no. Mary. But do you want to hear that? No. You don't want to make. You don't want to make music with him. I don't want to make music with nobody. Well, then, that, that's, that's also true. Oh, okay. You, bro, come stop it. If you ask me for a version and you gangbang, I'm gonna give it to you for free. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fact, and I'm gonna do the video. That's, that's not what you did the verse for Lil Yachty. Lil Yachty not from nowhere. But that's my, that's the homie though. Billy Eilish. That's the homie. Them his kids. Like, well, Yachty not a kid no more. When I met Billy, she was 15 years old, 14 years old. Word. They was like, you want to do something with a little kid? I'm like, yeah. I'm just talking about the price point. Right, right. You feel me? So it's like any random nigga. Well, I'm from a random nigga from like anywhere. The homie's like, hey, I need you to give me a verse with my artist. I'm like, for sure. So when the so the Billy Eilish, you just send the verse and send, it ain't. Nah, even... I met them. They was kids, bro. She was like a kid, kid. Well, she's still a kid, but like she was like a preteen. Got you. So when people are having these conversations with you, is it is it easy to to turn people down? Or is it easy to? Kind I don't. Of like, I don't really tell nobody no. What do you say to them about the verse? Yeah, just somebody reaches out. Hey, I want to work with you. What's up? All right. <laughs> Send me the song. I'll do it if I like it. If not, I'm not gonna do it. 
So when that's what I'm saying. The with, with the, the point where you don't like it, do you tell them, nah, I'm not fucking with this. This ain't the one. Send or five songs and then I'm gonna pick one. Even if they all trash? Define trash though. To you. See? If you don't like them. But like so say like somebody say like if this your style, and I don't necessarily listen to it. I'll 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 pick the one that I can feel the most comfortable on. If I rock with you, you know what I mean? But ain't nobody niggas ain't really knocking on my door every day for verses like that. So I you know what I mean? Like not most everybody want a verse. Send a song like Ruchi sent like three songs. All black sent like ninety seven songs. Bro, I saw you and all black was uh are y'all doing a, are you gonna do a project with him or no? I mean I would. That's the homie, but like But y'all got enough records to do the whole project. We got one song. No, I'm saying you said he sent oh, 90... he sent me like, but he from Oakland, bro. They rap all day. <laughs> but you rap fast too. You you create songs. Nah, 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 nah. But oh, but you no, no, no. Four minutes though. Uh, what I'm saying is, I got a couple songs mm -hmm. and they easy to write. Got it. But I ain't got a gang. All these niggas was from the Bay, bro. In the Bay, <laughs> they rap. Well, you know how many songs P Lo got? I can imagine thousands. Yeah, yeah bro. Bro, you ever looked at P Lo computer? I, I looked at it one time. It's crazy, right? I don't want no parts. Catalog crazy. He Bro, just got records on top of records. It looked like a desk. Oh no. Nah. You know, you know, you know how you watch the movie with the white people and they got the posters on the desk? Yeah. That's him on the on the screen. And he like pulling he then he got all the songs on the on the desktop, but then he got the songs in the notes. Yeah, fuck that. Like a list of not the not the ones on the desktop, they're separate songs. And then you got the beats. Yeah. And you got that. It's, Bro, it's they too be, much. They work like crazy up there. Hey, real quick, you know, we wrap up. What, what, what did you? What's something that you did during COVID that you never thought you would do during the quarantine? Bro, you know me. I'm, I'm basic. I man, my whole life was exactly the same. Yeah, you, yeah. But you didn't pick up no new. You didn't start researching anything crazy. You ain't no, pick I'm up watching. no new. I shows. put a studio in my house. That's the only thing. I was like, I don't know. I'm still mad. I die every time I walk by that. It make me. I, I feel what? <laughs> Why? By putting, by putting like, who in rapping in the house? That's lame. Bro. <laughs> People, a lot of people do that, especially from the last year. And especially if you don't want to go to the studio to rap. If you got your well, it's not up. even that. It's just like, I feel like, man, I really put some holes in these walls. Like, I'm depreciating. <laughs> the value. Of that. That's I mean, the way I'm looking at it. You like, look at an investment. Yeah, like, I'm depreciating. Yeah, but, I, but see, I know where you at, though. So, like, where you at, you got to come a minute to get to the studios anywhere to function. 45 minutes. That's still a like, I mean, if it's I live, not. If, it, I live, if I lived in Santa Monica, it's going to take me an hour and a half. That's not true. When I lived in Santa Monica and I was going to East West and I was driving down Santa Monica, it would take me an hour to get there. I promise you. Just because of traffic alone. The traffic on Santa Where You got to think, what other street can you take? Ain't no other street to take. You right get now. what I'm saying? So when you go that way, when like that's why I didn't mind moving back. And I don't like living out here, bro. It's weird out here. You ain't even from out here. Me? You from far away. You from where I'm from. Don't act like you grew up over here. <laughs> over here? Oh, no. I'm not talking about out here specifically. I'm talking about in in in, in the city. Like... When you got to drive to the city, that's a mission, bro. Well, this is what I'm saying, right? I feel you. I feel you. You know how many? You ever been on Yelp? Yeah. You know how many studios it is? They all got the same thing. So, oh, okay. I see what you're saying. But it, I'm, I'm just saying in reference to what you said about traffic and shit like that. And oh, no, the yeah, no, no. Nah, but my thing, it's just, I just, I, I told myself I would never do it because when I go home, I want to be at home. I feel you. You feel me? I felt wolfed. I'm like, are oh, you letting this shit control your life? You working all the time, every day. Yeah, because I, I believe in separation. You feel me? Like, now nah, there's nothing wrong with having. And the dudes that got the houses in the studios, it's like, say, like, if Dr. Dre got a house in the studio, I'm pretty sure it's another house. You feel me? Like, my shit in the house. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I, I pass that shit with some chili cheese fries in my hand, like, nigga. What about when you're not working? When you say you want to you wanna separate? I'm never working, bro. No, I'm saying, when you, what do you do when you separate? When you're not. Oh, shit. I be chilling. I be living life. I was touring for five, six years straight. And I stopped. Literally. Like, I can name, like, both. Like, if I just start naming tours, you look at me like I was crazy. We already had this conversation. Yeah. I was doing do you, way too do much. Did you enjoy that, though? I mean, was that the, the part of the life that you enjoyed about? Nah, it was cool, though. It's, it's a necessary evil. Mm. I don't like people. Like, that, I, that, I know that, that sounds crazy, a, but, like. A, it, I guess what I'm taking from it is that you don't like people, right? <laughs> you don't, you're introverted, right? But you still are in the space of creating music and, and doing things that you don't like, right? Well, it's and my thing, let me rephrase, it's not that I don't like people. I don't like a gang of people looking at me. It's weird, bro. Yeah, Shows is it. weird. You know what I mean? I get like it. I get it. Like if I'm at if I'm at the South Coast Plaza, bro, and me and Ronnie Loke at the Starbucks, like, that's a good time. But like <laughs> being at the show, like But the, again, this is your bro, life. Bro, like this is your life. <laughs> Everybody looking at you. Like, what's up with y'all, bro? <laughs> they, they, they here to see you turn up, do your shit. 
I mean, but I appreciate it. But it's like it's still like you know it's so awkward. Yeah. It used to be well not no more. The show's too big now to even feel that way. But but it used to be weird. Got it. We do this thing on the show where we have people call in and do curbside confessions. Basically, they call us and tell us crazy stories with Uber, Lyft, Postmates. You got any crazy Uber story? Crazy Postmate food delivery? Anything? I can't say it on here. We had a crazy Uber story. He was cool though. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I want to hear this. I shit. don't want to know. Look, man. Sometimes you see your homies. You just got this. You see, you see people. You gotta be like, hey, what's up? You know what I'm saying? No. Uh, no, not at all. But I want to know. Have you seen this? Ooh, what was it? I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> if I see that Uber driver again. So it was an Uber driver. <laughs> he had an Uber experience. I mean, hey, look, bro. Shout out to Uber, man. Like, he was cool. <laughs> like, I, I think I know what happened. Yeah. We good. Man. Um, rappers And that's when it first came out, too. <laughs> it wasn't oh, that many, yeah. It wasn't that many you know Ubers. what's crazy? Soldier Boy told us the same thing. He said he got banned from Uber. Like, he can't even order Ubers no more. He was scamming? Nah, he, he said they did some shit. In the Uber, he, he just saying he's he said they blocked his whole thing. He couldn't even order one. He's like, I, he's like, I can get rides with other people, but I can't. I he can can't have his own account. Me. Look, bro, all I'm saying is, look, man, it's a beautiful world we live in. <laughs> okay, you know what I mean. All right, moving along. What, what do you think about um, rappers retiring? I uh, love it. Why? I can't stand it. Why? Because they niggas never end up retiring. They come back. You don't think it might be some kind of fiscal? It could be, Think but at least say, hey, I'm taking a break. Oh, man, I'm stepping away from but, this for a minute. I mean, what if they got certain contractuals? Got it. That's the way I look at it. I feel like if you, I mean, all I would say is when somebody leave, they come back, just look at the credits. Because maybe it was Makes some. Because I know when Jay-Z left and came back, he was getting a different kind of money. Mm-hmm. So, and that's where it came from to me, at least. I mean, L.O. Cool J retired too, though. Did L.O. Cool J made an album called Go Greatest of All Time. But, but, and he but, don't get credit for He said he invented GOAT. I seen I it remember, on the documentary. The other I day. remember that's the first time I heard it, but I don't. I don't remember that, that was. That's fire. That's fire, bro. That's a fire thing to be able to say. That you created goat. Yeah, it ain't nobody been like shut up, that little cool J. <laughs> I don't think anybody would say that. He's made music after that. Yeah, though, he right? yeah he be lifting weights, huh? He made music after that though, right? But that's what I'm saying. So I mean, a couple dudes that retired and things of that nature. But I mean, look, whatever you got to do for your mental health, you feel me? I feel like a lot of people just feel like they need a break. I can handle that. I can handle. Hey, look, I got to take a break. But you saying or... don't say it. Just don't don't say I'm don't say retiring. The, the, the fact it's like retiring. I'm retiring is like well, you know, artists are self important. And if you're not a self important artist, it can hurt your career. So they feel like they got it. We can feel like we feel like we have to share everything and be super. Hey, look at me, look at me. Like if you just disappear, like it might be. Oh, I fell off. You mm. fell off, and then some people can't deal with that. Things tell me I fell off all the time, and I'd be like, yeah, you know, fuck it. You don't see like you would let anything rub you the wrong way anyway. Yeah, man. But what if I'm emotional? Shit, I'm a cancer, so I'm supposed to be sensitive. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody's doing this fight trend. Would you ever do it? Where yeah. you box, you know, fight another rapper or TikToker, YouTuber? No, I'm not fighting nobody. No. <laughs> yeah, nope. But, I mean, you didn't fought for free. So. Different, no, different, though. That's because I had, like, that's fighting is a de-escalation tactic. If we're not really upset, we're not finna fight. I feel you. I'm I'm the same way. Like, why is we fighting? Like, on, on top of that, I'm old, bro. Fighting is for high school, bro. I walked to school my whole life. We was walking. I'm done. Rap. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. And I and it's it's gonna be that one time you do it and you get slapped because people don't be knowing I got them a little bit, so they be like, you know, and on Southpaw, you feel me? They be, they be looking for rap. You Southpaw? <laughs> Look, don't 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 worry about that because don't. Matter of fact, take that out. In case, <laughs> in, 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 in case I, I get wanna, in a situation. I hear about this time that, that you that you knew you got got. What what, what I don't know if you want to paint the picture of it, but when did you know like, oh, you got me on this one? When I got when I when I got whooped out, yep. I woke up. Oh, that's what it was. Don't walk away. <laughs> don't hey look, don't walk away. Don't so, walk away and don't kick niggas. Uh, like, I hit him with a boom, bam, bam. Hit him with bitch. Turned around, uh, woke up. But I, you know, I thought <laughs> my I was like twelve. I was twelve, turned thirteen. My I'm not that big now, but I was like five two until I was like twenty, literally. Mm-hmm. And this nigga was like six three, oh, three hundred pounds. I was tripping. I was thugging. You was tripping. I was thugging. You, you <laughs> was thugging. tripping. And you sit down like, I'm going to get this nigga. And nigga said, shut up, bitch. It was the homie brother. So like, my, the big homie brother. So they're like 18. And I'm like 12, 13. It's the summer before ninth grade. So 13, I think. Yeah, 13. No? I don't even know. Bow, bow, boom, bam, bam. He had the little ball up. I'm like, yeah, I got him. My way. Way. Bitch ass nigga. Uh, Fuck cuz. And then, boop, boop, boop. you tripping, bro. Nah, that's all I heard. <laughs> you tripping, bro. 
Wow. I was like, I'm going to kill this nigga. And then they came to my mama's house the next day, and they brought me burgers and french fries. The family pack. My whole family is like, wow. We was friends again. All but right. I hit him first. Um, somebody, oh, go ahead. But like no, I said, I'm a dope fiender. I'm not about to say. You, yeah, you wasn't gonna dope fiend him though. You, you wasn't. People sitting down too. You can't hit a nigga when he's sitting down. That's some buster shit. That's a dope fiend. Nah, that was that's worse than a dope fiend. That's worse than a dope fiend. Yeah. So you can't hit somebody if they sitting down, even if the even if the challenge is on. But what I'm saying if is it's like, up, like if it's a dope fiend, you if they don't fall, then they can like get their little bearings. You sitting in a chair, bro. You you know, you incapacitated. Done. Um, and it was this one dude from a neighborhood that we beef with. Love y'all. No hard feelings. I'm not even gonna say who it was, but he was in a wheelchair. He used to be tripping, and he used to be on Instagram like, "Nigga, fuck you, nigga, I, nigga, meet me in the back seat." Yeah, and it's yeah. like, like bro, we're beefing. Like, I don't no, want to get in the car with you. Ain't no, yeah, ain't no fair one in there. <laughs> but I respected him because he was like, "Man, I beat you, little." He's a grown man, like yeah. forty. Like, I beat you, little niggas up. I'm like, I'm, I know you will. Is that's why I'm not getting in the back seat? All he got is upper body strength. <laughs> what, yo? Um, who do we have on the show? We had oh Huey we Briss. we had Briss Huey Briss on the show. Oh, that's my homie. That's he my he said you be giving him advice and shit like that's that. That's the homie, yeah. Um, do you do you feel the responsibility to do that for for people that's coming up like how you did, or you or you just kind of do it because it's the homies? I don't got no advice for nobody. I don't know why he be, he be. I don't even think it's advice. Like you feel me? Because I don't. I I can tell you what worked for me, but it ain't gonna work for you because I was almost ten years ago. You feel me? Like mm. when. I, was, I just played the little festival runs until I got some make got my money. It was a point in time in the festivals where it was nobody on them shows but me and Golink. Mm. Literally, it was me and Golink and then like drum, but that's not even really rap. It was literally me and Gold. Well, not the drums on the rap. You know what I mean? It's more melodic. Yeah. It wasn't. It was and it was me and Golink. But him hearing that experience coming from you, obviously somebody where he's from as well, mm -hmm. man, that that could either help him. Not even though you're not giving him a direct path, like he mm -hmm. can use your experience and say, okay, yeah, I'm gonna do that or not do that. Now, that, from the sense that we were talking, he appreciated it. But no, but my, but my, I know, and that's my dog. But my thing is like, it's not just a homie shit. Like if you ask me anything, I'm gonna tell you. But I don't ever want nobody to feel like they don't know what they're doing because mm -hmm. you know you always know what you're doing. If you you know it's it's, it's somebody you know heading out city at Venice Beach right now this second. And we already way past, like, growing up, you know, you hear stuff like, and I don't mean no disrespectful way, but you see, like, when it's younger, our homies will be, like, into, like, MERS and Blue and all that stuff. I told, I, I tell Earl this all the time, like, we was done. We was, you was past, he, like, you know what I said, so what he grew up listening to, I'm like, you was passed down on your first mixtape. Mm -hmm. So it's no pressure. You passed who people that you looked up to. Yeah. And that's just because the changes in the times, because they couldn't do what he was able to do. You feel me? So it's like when you think about the name Earl Sweatshirt, it kind of surpasses his idols. And, and, and But that sometimes that'll make you feel like you don't know what to do next. Yeah. But I know, you know, just from you know growing up and just realizing, I know it's no set way to do nothing. Because I just, I, I went in, I went and found some bread. But that don't necessarily make you happy. don't make you proud of yourself. So it's just, I can say, oh man, you can go get this bread real quick. You're going to get 250 for this, 100 for this. And, but what do that mean if you don't care about that? If you want your mama to say, I like that song, what do that mean? if You, you know what I mean? Everybody wants something different. So figure out what you like. My thing is, it's ways to find money. Yeah, You'll mm -hmm. find it. So just do what you like. What do you, what do you feel like the best piece of advice as of recently, random or not, that, that you've received, that you've actually taken to heart? Like, damn, I, I didn't know that information. I'm glad you shared that with me, and I'm going to apply that in my life. Uh. I don't know, but the one thing that it's probably been a lot because I hear a lot of stuff. But the one thing that pop up that um oh two things, and it's funny because basically the same thing. Kenny Beast was like, "Yeah, uh, the project we just did worked." Though he's like, "Yeah, it's proof that you know if you just if everybody just kind of listen to you and follow what you're saying, even though it might sound crazy because I'd be sounding fucking crazy, obviously." He's like, "It will come to fruition. And it will make sense." And Mustard was like. You get on my fucking nerves. You better than you think you are. Just rap, nigga. <laughs> God damn. And he walked out the, the booth. He walked out the studio and I didn't see him for the rest of the day. <laughs> and he was outside eating like a pot pie watching like a Laker game. Random. That Random sounds shit. about right. What um I was gonna ask you about social media too. Just you know, this is a this is a big tool that people have. Mm -hmm. Some people know how to use it, some people don't know how to use it. What do you feel like it works in terms of like the artistry? Does it Help or hurt more because if you don't know how to use it, it mm -hmm. can completely fuck you up. I feel like social media ruins everything. Why is that? It's ruining self confidence in kids. It's ruining people's social skills. It's ruining actual accolades. You can make a great song, and if you post it and it don't got a certain number of retweets, or mm -hmm. you might it might make you feel bad. It ruins the opportunity for growth creatively. Mm -hmm. Somebody put out their first album and they sell 
ten thousand copies, which is a couple million streams. Mm-hmm. Oh, this shit trash. You're fucking trash. Blah blah. You know, it's people taking things out of other people because they hate their life. And social media is just, is just, is just fueled by negativity. It's nothing positive going on. But you have to know or have kind of be centered in your life to not let it fuck with you. It's right? hard when you grow up in that is life. Mm. Anybody younger than us, they they they. they like I be looking at the little homies, like the little homies is 14, 15 years old, like 13, really gang banging, mm-hmm. but it's on the phone. Wow. Right, 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 right. Yes. Yeah, and I used to be like, man, y'all busters, but it's like, they really life. not. It's right. just like, it's like weird, bro. It's like spy kids. Cause like, <laughs> I don't, I don't understand it, but it's like, I don't really like it. And I've grown to not like it because I see how it make people feel. That shit don't bother me. That can't really bother right. me because I'm, I'm so, you know, blessed and shit, but it really hurt people. Mm. And I don't really like that. So for 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 people that are listening, right, that that are using social media, that 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 actually listen to Vince Staples, they really listen to you for for which you know what you say, despite all the random shit here and there. What what would you tell them? Would you tell them just don't pay attention to it? Would you tell them how how, how would you get them to get to the point where they can kind of block that out? I mean, the world is big. You feel me? You can feel like your life is. I've been all around the world, bro. What I notice is like, you can really go somewhere and start all the way over, change anything. And the internet will show you how vast the world is, but the world is actually bigger than that once you get off that thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, you know, just live your life, man. The world is real. I remember what I miss about music is being broke and having to catch the bus to the studio for two, three hours and just seeing certain things and getting lost. I used to get lost. Like, my life, I be telling little homies all the time, like, you niggas ain't never even been lost before. Damn. Now, you ain't, you, know, you ain't ever slept, fell asleep on the bus? Like, come on, man, you're not thugging. Like, just playing with them and shit right, like right. that, you know? But it's like... Just experiences, you feel me? Like, just, you know, live experiences, live real life experiences because if you, like, I say this all the time, music not nothing without people. And that's anything in life, you know what I mean? So that's what I would say, you know, just go outside, do something. Get robbed. You said get robbed? Have some life experience. Get beat up, like, don't get robbed. And, you know, go down to to SNCC uh, food truck with the homie Shag, get you some fried chicken and get robbed because I done seen some niggas over there like, oh, I'm glad you remember me because I remember you. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like we was just over there, bro. In Gardena, we was just over there, literally. The homie bounced. The homie, this nigga I know bounced out the car crazy over there. He put up right front room. Boom! I'm like, oh, this big old strong nigga. I'm like, bo. He like, what's up, <laughs> I'm like, Yeah, yeah. She was gonna go home. Wow. All right. All right. The, okay, so I do want to just because we we are talking about the, the 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 single, the project, and everything. So this is a uh, law of attractions, right? Oh yeah, law of averages, averages on, sorry, on Vince. Law of, same thing. Gotcha. Law of averages on Vince Staples coming out when it come out. When when you playing this? But no, I mean shit, we can do this shit. I mean it, it don't matter. June June ninth or now. I mean July ninth for now. Okay. Yeah. July 9th, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. July 9th, You know what I mean? Just songs, man. We got some songs. We got some interludes. You know what I mean? Play it. Get your Swiffer. Do your thing. July 9th. That's for fishing. New project. We trying. We selling fireworks on the low. If you know one of the homies, <laughs> Shut hit him. The, just we, turn, we, turn his mic off. No, we, we really do. got him though. <laughs> Last question: The year can't end. We always ask: Is the year can't end without Vince Staples doing what? Mm. Why y'all be asking me stuff like that? You said why? I don't. I don't, I don't even know how to answer that. The, just, nigga, just answer. I be chilling, bro. Exactly. So answer the look, way. man. Look, without I'm, you getting your KD up on Call of Duty. Oh, my Katie, trash. What? It's getting better though. <laughs> That's I what you need. To I do. can't play Call of Duty, bro. <laughs> I yeah, know said, it's I know. stressful, bro. So getting your gaming up? Oh no, nah, I'm not playing, bro. All them footsteps and shit in my house with some headphones <laughs> on, like what? <laughs> nah, bro, I, got, I got things in here, bro. Hey, like there, all some real shit. What? No, it just it's funny because like I popped into his in his game one time. He's like, I'm finna run with the homie because I be, give me a minute. I'm like, all right, for sure. But I be sitting with my headphones on, so I know what he mean about that. Cause I be paranoid. I got my alarm set and I got the thing where I can see like the oh. camera shit. And I got it right here next to my TV. And I got my and, and I be having hey like <laughs> and I be having my shit right Bro. here. With the headphones on, and I be playing the game and looking at <laughs> because because you be immersed. Bro, look, for what? <laughs> I started playing Call of Duty last year. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Homie's like, nah, blah, blah. And it's crazy because my KD finally, not in the negative, like, but I'm not good. That's kill death ratio. Okay, I, but look, I'm, this thing about my KD, right? Boom. Like, certain maps, I be going crazy. I be like 28 and like four. Yeah. So they be like, oh, man, you got to keep playing. I'm like, nah, bro, that wasn't a good experience for me. Like, <laughs> like throw something else on. Like, I don't know. Someone with some swords or some shit. I can't do it. <laughs> 
all that gunplay, man. He make you him. make you. Yeah. And bro, them is real guns. I be trying to say that's what that sound like. Like turn that off, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah bro. trauma. I can play Overwatch like the little Korean shit with like the powers and stuff. Yeah, give me some of that, some Halo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not no real shit. Yeah, hell no, nah. for sure. Ben Staples, this this has been probably the one of the most random conversations. <laughs> but, but obviously it's been it's been enjoyable, bro. Like I I I look forward to the next one and whenever what the hell else we had. Is oh no, he'll be back bro. when the album drop. All right. Exactly. Man, Ben Staples, Homegrown Radio, Chuck Dizzle, DJ Head. Catch y'all next time. Appreciate y'all.